you guys don't know, there are three secret bosses in the Division 2. And what I mean secret is they just don't spawn randomly. You have to do something to make them spawn. So what we're going to do now is we will be showing you guys how to spawn all three bosses. And this will be very helpful for you new and returning players. So let's get into it. So the first boss actually spawns on Coney Island Amusement Park. So let's show you how to do this one. Now this boss can spawn on story, normal, hard, challenging, whatever you guys want to put it on, it will spawn. So you can spawn this boss on any level. This is the first time I ran through it on this character. So I'm going to show you on story mode. So you're going to continue on all the way through the amusement park, all the way till you get to the haunted house. You'll get to a skull where you go into his mouth and just follow that pathway all the way through. This is when you need to start paying attention. So once you pull this lever right here, you're gonna pull this lever right here, and this lever is gonna give you access to the first area that we need to be at. Now this first area is gonna have some enemies, so I recommend you first clear out all the enemies in this next area, and then you go for what we need to do. Once you get to the area where the little ghost pops out, this little haunted house ghost, this is where this is the area that you're gonna fall, fight some enemies. So these are the enemies you want to clear out. So I would recommend clear these out first, and then we'll get the first item you need to get. So once we clear out the area, you want to come to the far left, all the way over here. And if you look, you're gonna see this red glowing light. If you look, it's a rat. The eyes are glowing. Once you shoot it, the lights go out, and that's when you know you activated the first rat. So we're gonna need to fight four different rats to activate the secret boss. So. The next rat is in the same room. If you look at the very top, you'll see this red glowing light. I'm gonna scope in with the nemesis so you can see. Just shoot him, and there you go. That is the second one we need to get. Now there are only two more rats we have to shoot out. So we're gonna continue on through these double doors right here and make your way through. Now there's gonna be another rat in here. So what you need to do is clear out this area again. So fight all these enemies, whatever build you're using, just kill them. And then I'll show you exactly where the third rat is. So we've taken care of all the enemies. I'm going to pick up my hive and then I'm going to turn around. You see this, this book right here? Look up and there's another red light. If we look in, there's a rat there. So we just need to shoot it. Once we shoot it once, the lights go out. And there we go. Now we just need to find the final rat. And that one's going to be right where we make the boss spawn. So we're going to continue on all the way to the computers. Now, before you activate the computers, right, you're gonna get this message from Aaron Keener. To the left, to the left, we have the rat. So you wanna shoot it, that's the fourth rat. So now you need to shoot that rat prior to hitting the computers because the computers is what activates the boss. You either get no boss or you get a boss. As you guys saw at the beginning, the one time I did it, no boss. The second time I did it, we had a boss. So I just wanted to show you the two differences in that clip. Now, once you activate it, you'll get a message from Aaron Keener. He'll talk, blah, 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 blah. I'll let you guys watch this yourself. I don't really want to spoil this for you. So you'll get a little message from him, and then we'll continue on outside these doors. All of a sudden, you'll hear like a big explosion. You'll start to get some cleaners. I'm throwing out my skills. My skills are going to take care of the work. There's going to be two different explosions. The first one is the first group, and then the second one is the second group. Now, once you clear out this second group, the boss, Radigan, is going to spawn. He'll spawn in with, I think, two to three enemies. He just spawned in right there. Now, remember, if you guys don't shoot those rats, he won't spawn. You'll just get some red enemies and, I think, a purple enemy. But that's how you get this boss to spawn. You can either finish him off pretty quick. Story mode, he will probably die really fast. If you put him on challenging, he might give you a little bit of a fight. But, of course, this was on story mode, so it was a little bit easy for me. My skill build could probably one shot in which you'll see in a second that's exactly what you guys need to do to get this boss to spawn if you guys have any questions on this one please let me know in the comment section but let's get into the second boss but it's one of those easter eggs that if you never knew you probably didn't so first thing you need to do is make sure you make it to this underground tunnel right here and then there is going to be the archive safe house just to the east north of us will have the ivy tunnel and then if you locate where i'm at this is the tunnel you guys want to enter right here. So step one is finding this location right here. So let's do this together and get into the video. So what you wanna do for this one is just go down the tunnel and then follow this all the way around until you get into the main room. You'll see you'll go through these tunnels here. Just keep going around. If you wanna pick up the loot, you can, as you guys are seeing. You're gonna follow the tunnel all the way around until you get into another room. Now in that room, you have to look for, it looks like it's an X on the floor. And you're gonna see it in just a second. 
as soon as we come through this room right here to our left we're gonna find an X on the floor and I'll show you guys exactly where it's at. So you're in this room right here, you go down the stairs and then right to our right, to our left, there is an X. So on this X, you wanna make sure you do jumping jacks. Now, once you do that, it will spawn the boss. So find the little jumping jacks right here and then once you do that, he will spawn. He's gonna come through those two double doors right there. So just run away. Don't even wait for him to spawn, just run away and then get into a good tactical position because he does hit very hard, especially if this is the first time you're doing it. If you die, you can always do it again, so don't worry about that. Recommend a very hard hitting build or if you want, run some type of protection from Elite's build. His name is Yannick the Beard. Once you kill him, collect the loot and that's how you get that one. So if you look at the map one more time, you see where we are, right? You just wanna go to this tunnel, make your way around there. That's exactly where you need to be in this area. You're gonna be east, sorry, west of the archive safe house, and then you're gonna be south of the ivory tunnel control point. So just find that X on the ground, do the jumping jacks, and he will spawn. Let's get into our next boss. So the next boss is right here at Manning National Zoo, and you could do this on any difficulty. So the first thing you need to do is head into Manning National Zoo, and once you get in there, you pass the alligator pit. Once you come out of there, this is when it starts. There's an area where you don't fight any enemies at all and this should give you a hint at where you need to be you look to the left you should see the alligator pit is to the left of me behind me and if we keep going over here this is the first place you need to go you need to head to your right and right here you're going to see these beehives right so what you need to do is shoot them when i first did it it was really dark so you couldn't see so just shoot them and as you shoot them you'll start to see the bees come out right you see the bees are out well, that's how you know you activated this beehive. Now, there are a total of five that you need to unlock. So what you want to do is continue on to your upper right. So we're going to go to the right side. And right where it says National Zoo, in front of it is another beehive. So you want to do the same thing. Just shoot these out. Now that we shot those out, we'll continue on. And we're gonna head to the opposite side. So we have two out of five, right? We're gonna take a left right here. And then in this area right here, that's open. Looks like there's probably some wolves in here before, maybe some bears. You're gonna cut through here. Just keep just running through here, just like this. And then there's some more hives right here. So you want to shoot these hives right here and as soon as you shoot them the bees come out that's how you know it's activated so three out of five correct we're going to continue on keep running keep running just follow this path all the way through we have two more to go and if you were going to continue on with the manning zoo uh, mission right you would go through this entrance but we're going to ignore that we're going to continue on to the left hand side over here. You might have one enemy that might have spawned there, but there shouldn't be any enemies. There is a beehive hiding right behind here. So you want to do is shoot these. As soon as you shoot these, the bees will come out. But yeah, this is the hardest one that you'll probably miss. A lot of people missed that one right there. So once you do that, that's four out of five. And then the final beehive is going to be right next right next to where we need to interact to make the boss come out right we're going to continue on this way so that is the panel that we want to interact with but if you don't shoot the final beehive you won't be able to turn to your left and the final beehive is right here so just shoot these as soon as you do that the bee the bees will come out right and then you can interact with this beehive right here. Now, once you interact with them, the boss comes out. All you have to do is kill him. Pretty easy to do if you have decent level gear. And then he randomly drops a high end item or he can randomly drop anything. But yeah, he will drop something for you. And that is how you unlock the secret boss in Division 2 Manning Zoo. Now, you can do this on normal, hard, challenging. I did it on hard, but it does work on any way you want to do so. You can do story, normal, hard, challenging. All three ways 
will give you the access to this boss. But this panel will not activate until you shoot all the beehives. So there are five beehives. And that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you guys again for the support. See you guys in the next one. Hey, nothing but skills is out.